This is the weighted random switch. It's a CGS Canstone circuit. Its panel art here is done in paper face um, in the style of loudest warning. This first row here is a router. So you send a clock, you send the input signal, and it sends the input signal out one of these four outputs. Um, and that is based on uh, probabilities either set with these pots um, or a combination of these pots and control voltages going into these inputs. Um, the, the CV outputs, um, you'll notice, are all lit. And um, when you send in control voltages, they will vary a bit. Um, and then there's the gate outputs, um, which are super useful. Um, you can get interesting uh, rhythmic things. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, just so you can hear the sound as it is. Okay, so. Okay, so that's going into the input. Um, I have a clock, and that pulse is at this rate. Um, and I like to send an end out. It seems to be kind of the, the best. So now, um, now we're clocking this, and, and we have an input in. Um, now we need to plug in some outputs. Uh, let's see. This is um, a big patch here, so give me a second. This is... Um, <clears throat> So output one, we're going to go into a flanger. Um, I don't really want it to go in there yet, but um, so that's the high level flanger. Um, output two would be reverb. Okay, you can hear that. Output three will be a phaser. Um, and output four will be a delay. Okay, so if I um, if I just start to mess with these knobs, we'll get um, uh, kind of probabilistic, uh, sending it through different um, uh, effects. Now I have it set so that the envelope of the sound is separate um, from the clock source. But we could sync that easy enough if I was to Suppose to take the clock and just have it sync. Mm, maybe I'll go the other way, actually. Really, I think the end outs are the way to go. Okay, now you'll see them cycle and they'll be in time with the clock. Turn probability two up. And maybe, or let's see, this, this one. So, um, one thing to think about uh, with this is that these are, it, it's kind of a mixer. And, and it's, a, it's like a weighted, maybe it's a binary weighted mixer. I want to say that's what the documentation says. So sometimes you'll have to adjust all the volumes, you know, or all the pots down, all the levels down, or all the levels up, just um, to get what you're looking for. Um, so if I want this one to, to really um, be the dominant here, I might have to turn these down a little bit. 
So you can see how much I had to adjust that to get it to, to be right. But now I just gradually bring these other ones in. It's still gonna be mostly this one. So then um, things can get uh, kind of more interesting when you start adding in other um, control voltages. So I'll start doing that starting from the top. start to notice these fluctuate a little bit. I'm gonna try to set these the set levels so we can really get an idea of what's happening. Yeah. These LEDs are interesting. They'll, they'll fluctuate um, um, but you, you won't really be able to notice it um, unless I turn these up. So now I have everything up. Control voltages are currently what's you know um, affecting the probabilities. And so if I speed up a couple here. So now you're seeing um, that, that these two are what's affecting the probabilities. If I turn these down a little bit. And I still could say, um, so I want this top one to be most active, so that's the flanger. You also, um, the control voltage outputs, how they sound. So I've, I've also tuned a bunch of different oscillators here, um, uh, four of them, I guess only four oscillators, but, um, Tune them all to the same pitch. And so now I'm going to plug these control voltage um, outs just so you can hear what it is that, um, what, what those sound like. Um, so I'll start to turn up the levels. Um, and this should be the first, the first channel. Or CD at zero. Okay. Um, CD out. Now these these are currently not tracking. Uh, the, you know, it's it's not adjusting the control voltage of um, the sawtooth wave that's going through. So keep that in mind. These are separate oscillators. I don't have amps on them. Uh, I don't have them. Um, going through a VCA and opening and closing. Um, so here is uh, output channel um, one, which is the second. So you can 
see they're quite different. I mean, we are sending in different control voltages here. Um, output channel uh, three. Adjust these knobs a little bit, see if we can get some kind of variation. Um, maybe I'll speed up the clock. thing um, I like the sound of those CV outs uh, um, they they do kind of interesting things um, I mean I think just especially when you have oscillators stacked like that um, but uh, I haven't uh, you know I don't think I fully utilized really like what those could do but um, I'm sure you could use those same control voltages to control clocks you could run them, you know, in, uh, to, 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 to kind of feedback um, or FM stuff. Um, in fact, let's try that. Um, so if I take those, um, okay, there's my oscillators. Okay, so now we just have our um, socks with wave. Okay, so now maybe I'll take these um, in to affect the clocks. Uh, uh, some adjustments to the sound. Just the filter a little bit. see my modulation sources are they're all um, doing all kinds of crazy things because I'm running those control voltages back out um, into them to kind of adjust their their rates
Um, so you can get some really interesting things, and this is just um, barely even scratching the surface of the things that you could do with this kind of switch. I mean, obviously, like, you look at these gate outs, and if you were to ping filters, you could have really interesting kind of pitched, um, I guess, uh, uh, pings. In fact, I, th I think maybe I'll include that. Uh, I have a video of that, um, doing that. Um, I also have a video of kind of uh, sending those, um, uh, kind of uh, sending all the CV outs. Um, so maybe I'll include that as well. Um, but um, uh, it's definitely um, one thing to, to note is that this clock really kind of needs to be a short spike. Uh, the end outs um, work really good. Um, and... Uh, uh, you can get kind of the, the clock will look quite different if you send something else in. So here's just like a SSG smooth and you'll, you'll see it's, it's almost kind of smoothly gliding between these. Um, you can listen to that. Yeah. It's almost not staying in one place long enough to really let out the audio signal. So in some ways, it's kind of making its own um, kind of, I guess, FM modulation, or it's, 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 it's modulating at audio rates. If I turn it up, and actually, if I if I take out. That's taking out the, the control voltages. And um, so this is this SSG at a really fast rate. Turning it down. So at this point, I can almost use it as a wave shaper. This is a, um, a cycle coming out of SSG. And you can see that you can, like, the cycle goes from low to high, so below, it's below zero, I forget how many volts, above zero, maybe 10 volts. And so it's like maybe plus minus 10 volts. allows you to use that, but it's not ideal. So a, sh a short um, kind of end out. Oh. We'll actually switch all the channels just, just right. So uh, I'll uh, try to dig up those other videos and put those in here as well so you can get more of an idea, um, the pinging filters and, uh, and another example of um, how those CV outs sound.